Spectacular specialist shuttle. Let's get together for a huddle, but not too close. Got to keep the bubble. Let's start learning. Come on, let's hustle. We fit together like a puzzle. Library, music, art, PE. It's the super spectacular specialist shuttle. Hi everyone, welcome to this week's art lesson. We are now in segment four, which means we have a new theme. Our theme is family celebrations and traditions. During Halloween, something I like to do is decorate my home. So our art activities this week will be art projects you can hang around your home as Halloween decorations. But before we begin, Let's try to find Screech Kitty. Have you seen him? Me neither. I wonder where he is. Who's under that witch hat? <gasps> Screech, is that you? <laughs> wow, what a cool costume. I wonder what you're going to make this week. Let's see what's in Screech's treasure chest. It looks like Screech has some paint. And that's an oil pastel. What else do you have, Screech? A paintbrush. Great job on your spider web, Screech. I love those Halloween colors. Hmm. I wonder what I should be for Halloween. Hmm. Maybe not a pumpkin. What? A Minnie Mouse? I kind of like it. Hmm but maybe I'll be something else. But what though? Wow, a painting by Vincent Van Gogh? I wonder what will happen if I do this. Whoa, a rainbow. But it is Halloween. Maybe I should be something more spooky. Cool, I always wanted to be a witch. I wonder if I have magical powers. What am I? I'm an owl. I think I'll choose this one. I wonder if the specialists want to go trick-or-treating. Mr. Allwarden? Mr. Holt? Mrs. Strauss, let's go trick-or-treating! Welcome to Vocab with Van Gogh. This week, we are revisiting the word line. There are many different kinds of lines, like wavy, straight, zigzag, curly. 
Can you name any other kinds of lines? Line is one of the elements of art. It looks like Screech used a lot of lines in his artwork. I see some straight lines and some curved lines. Welcome to Salvador's Sillies. How do you spot a modern spider? He doesn't have a web, he has a web site. <laughs> what do you call a witch's garage? A broom closet. <laughs> what kind of monster loves to disco? The boogeyman. <laughs> Why are spiders bad at driving? because they always spin out. <laughs> Welcome to Frida's fellow artists. The artist you will learn about this week uses spiders in her artwork. Her name is Louise Bourgeois. She was a French-American artist and she was best known for her large spider sculptures. She was also a painter and a printmaker. Her iconic spider sculptures represent her mother. Although they are menacing in size, they actually represent motherhood in a positive way, showing powerful traits such as intelligence, protectiveness, and strength. Let's see what Louise Bourgeois says about her sculptures. The spider is my mother. That is to say the person who is totally reliable, totally intellectual, totally logical. My mother who was a perfectionist. Uh, she was a tapestry woman in Aubusson, repaired her tapestry with fast colors vegetable colors that she dyed herself. It is my mother, not only that, but I try to imitate her. The purpose of the piece is to express emotions. My emotions are inappropriate to my size. That is why uh, I transfer them, I transfer the energy into sculpture. Louise Bourgeois was a surreal artist during the late 1900s and early 2000s. A surreal artist creates work that is dreamlike. There are two ways to do this activity. The first is a drawing. You will need white paper, a ruler, a pencil, a black marker for tracing, and crayons or markers for coloring. The second way is a collage. You will need a bright colored paper, a dark colored paper, a ruler, a pencil, a black marker for tracing, and scissors and glue. Here are the directions to do this activity with a white piece of paper. To begin, take your ruler and line up the edge with the edge of the paper. Use a pencil to draw on the other side. Trace all the way down. Do this on the other side of the paper too. Line up the edge of the ruler with the edge of the paper and use the pencil to trace all the way down. Now that we've done the sides, we can move on to the top and bottom. Line up your ruler with the bottom of the paper and trace all the way across. Then line up your ruler with the top of the paper and trace all the way across. Place your ruler in the middle of the paper and trace on both sides. Now do the same step but going across the paper in the middle. Place your ruler in the middle and trace on both sides. 
Now you have a window with four panels. Use a black marker to trace over your pencil lines. If you don't have a ruler, don't worry. What you can do is place a dot inside of each corner. Draw a line connecting the dots all the way around. Now, near the middle of the paper, draw two dots near each other, at the top and at the bottom. Carefully connect the dots all the way down. Repeat this step going across. Place two dots near each other on the edge of the window and then on that middle line. Slowly connect them. Do this on the other side as well. It's okay if your lines aren't perfectly straight. A lot of windows on haunted houses are kind of crooked. For the next step, you can add little texture lines to your window pane. I'm making mine look like wood. To make the texture of wood, I'm drawing some curvy and wavy and swirling lines. I'm also drawing some parallel lines, which means there are two lines going in the same direction right next to each other. The next step is to add decorations to the window. I have a step-by-step -step drawing for spider webs here, so starting from the corner, draw a line that is diagonal, kind of like we did with the quilt project. Then draw some more diagonal lines coming out from the corner, kind of like the rays you would see in a sunset or a sunrise. The next step is to carefully draw a bumpy line going all the way across the spiderweb lines. There should be a little curved line connecting each line that came out of the corner. Move up a little bit on the spiderweb and repeat this bumpy line process. Continue doing this step, moving up a little bit as you go you should start getting closer and closer to the corner or the middle of the spider web. If this step is a little bit challenging for you, it's okay if you make your spider web look totally different. Use your own style to make it fun. Think about different kinds of lines as you are decorating all of the parts of the window. For this next section, I'm going to create a full spider web. I'm starting with an X, drawing a line down the middle, and then a line across the middle. On the outside of the web, I'm connecting each line with a little curved line. Then I will move in a little bit and continue that process over and over. Keep adding spiders and spider webs to your window until it is as fun or as spooky as you want. When you are finished with all of your drawing, you can add color using crayons or markers. I'm coloring the outside of my window brown to look like wood, and I'm using very light crayon colors underneath my spider webs so that they stand out from the black marker. I hope that you have fun making your spooky window. 
If you are going to use colored paper to create a collage, you will need to build the frame of the window. You will need another colored paper for this. To begin, take a ruler and place it up against the edge of the window frame paper. You should be holding your paper vertical. Trace six lines using a ruler. When you are finished tracing, use a pair of scissors to carefully cut along those lines. At the end, you will have a little piece of scrap paper. You can do whatever you want with that. Take some glue and put it on the back of one of your strips of paper. Line it up with the left edge of your colored paper. Do this on the other side of the paper as well. When you put the frame on the top, the paper will be a little long. So place a little mark where you need to cut off the extra piece. Then glue that down as well. You will need to repeat this step for the bottom. Take your paper and place it at the bottom. Make a little mark where it's too long and cut that off. Place a piece in the middle of the paper going vertical and horizontal. For the horizontal piece, you will need to make a little mark and cut off the extra. Once you have all of your pieces glued down, you are ready to decorate. To decorate your window, follow the steps from the previous directions. Or, you can do it however you want. This week we learned that many families decorate their homes and windows during fall and Halloween. Spiders create spider webs by spinning lines of silk. Louise Bourgeois made large sculptures of spiders that represent her mother's strength and protectiveness. To reflect, think about these questions. How many kinds of lines can you name? How do you feel about the large spider sculptures made by Louise Bourgeois? If you could make a large sculpture of anything, what would it be? And does your family decorate for fall or Halloween? What kinds of decorations do you use? We hope you had fun! See you next time!